Dubai residents already live in the shadow of the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. But soon, they may find themselves gazing up at yet another colossal structure, the Burj Aziz. This new skyscraper is set to break numerous records and become the second tallest building in the world. Initially announced in January 2024, its height was only recently revealed. But why is Dubai building yet another super tall skyscraper when it already boasts the world's tallest? And is such an ambitious project even feasible? Dubai's history with world-breaking record skyscrapers is well known. The Burj Khalifa transformed the skyline when it was completed in 2010, dethroning the Taipei 101 as the tallest building in the world at 2,717 feet. Since then, no other city has come close to matching it, but Dubai's ambition never stops. Over the years, the city has continued to push the boundaries of architecture and urban development, and this new project might be its boldest yet. The Burj Aziz is planned to rise to 2,379 feet, 725 meters, standing just two miles away from the Burj Khalifa. The final height was confirmed on September 5th after negotiations with Dubai's General Civil Aviation Authority, which has the final say over skyscrapers in the city. This is massive, even by skyscraper standards, surpassing the current second tallest building in the world, the Mordeka 118 in Kuala Lumpur, which stands at 2,227 feet. Construction on the tower began in January of this year, led by Aziz Developments, a prominent UAE real estate developer. According to the company, the Burj Aziz is on track for completion by 2028, with sales for the 131-story skyscraper launching in February 2025, though prices have yet to be announced. The tower will be situated in downtown Dubai on the iconic Sheikh Zayed Road, already home to many skyscrapers. In a September 4th press release, Mr. Muayas Aziz, founder and chairman of Aziz Developments, stated, Our investment in Burj Aziz, surpassing AED 6 billion, represents more than just the creation of an iconic structure, and is a commitment to transforming Sheikh Zayed Road and elevating Dubai's skyline to new, unparalleled heights. The 131-story Burj Aziz, set to cost $1.5 billion, will feature a mix of uses, including a unique all-suite seven-star hotel inspired by seven distinct cultural themes, luxury apartments, offices, and retail spaces. There are even plans for sky gardens, observation decks, and entertainment areas that will make it a city within a building. Many of its amenities will be billed as the world's highest. The nightclub is planned for level 126, the observation deck for level 130, and the restaurant for level 122. This will be Dubai's highest restaurant, taller than even the one at the Burj Khalifa. However, as with any project of this magnitude, there are numerous challenges to overcome. The financial burden alone is immense. The Burj Aziz is projected to cost $1.5 billion, a figure that has raised concerns about the project's financial valuability. While Dubai is no stranger to high-cost luxury developments, there are questions about whether the city's real estate market can absorb yet another premium addition. The market is already saturated with high-end residential, commercial, and mixed-use spaces, many of which have seen slow uptake in recent years. In 2023, Dubai's real estate market recovered after a pandemic-induced slump, but experts have expressed concerns about oversupply in the luxury sector, which could challenge the profitability of such an extravagant undertaking. Beyond the financial hurdles, constructing a skyscraper of this height presents significant engineering challenges. A structure as tall as the Burj Aziz must contend with extreme environmental factors. High winds at such elevations can exert tremendous pressure on the building, requiring engineers to design innovative damping systems to stabilize the tower while maintaining a minimal footprint. Temperature extremes in Dubai's desert climate also pose challenges. In the summer, temperatures can soar above 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, while at the top of the tower, they could be significantly cooler due to the altitude. Managing thermal expansion and contraction of building materials is crucial to prevent structural stress. Additionally, foundations for super tall structures like the Burj Aziz require deep pillings and extensive support systems to ensure stability, especially given Dubai's coastal proximity and sandy soil. Despite the challenges, Dubai does have a proven track record of completing mega-projects that many deemed impossible. The Burj Khalifa, completed in 2010, overcame similar engineering and financial hurdles to become the world's tallest building. Palm Jumeirah, a man-made island that expanded Dubai's coastline, was another feat of architectural ingenuity. 
The Dubai Marina, one of the largest man-made marinas in the world, also highlights the city's capacity to deliver large-scale, innovative projects that transform its landscape. These projects were not only completed, but have become globally recognized symbols of Dubai's ambition and ability to push the limits of design and construction. Developers of the Burj Aziz are counting on this same combination of ambition and expertise. Backed by major private investors and the Dubai government, the project involves some of the world's most respected architectural and engineering firms. These companies bring experience in constructing super-tall skyscrapers and are utilizing cutting-edge technologies, such as advanced computer simulations, to test a tower's design and structural integrity under various conditions. Securing these partners has allowed the developers to move forward confidently despite the project's daunting nature. Yet, not everyone shares their optimism. Skeptics argue that Dubai's economy has shown signs of slowing down in recent years, with fluctuations in oil prices and a cooling global real estate market. While Dubai's diversification into tourism, finance, and technology has helped mitigate these effects, some experts question whether there is still demand for ultra-luxury developments. The global shift towards sustainable, eco-friendly architecture also raises doubts about whether building another super-tall skyscraper is the best direction for the city's future growth. Concerns also exist regarding the strain this project could place on Dubai's infrastructure. The building of this size will require significant upgrades to utilities, including electricity, water supply, and waste management. Additionally, the transportation networks around this site will need enhancements to accommodate the influx of residents, workers, and visitors. Dubai's existing metro system and roads are already stretched during peak hours, and a development of this scale could exacerbate congestion without major improvements. The cost of these upgrades, if not carefully planned, could further increase the total price tag of the project. Even with these doubts, the momentum behind the Burj Aziz is strong. The design has already been approved, and preliminary work on the site has begun. If all goes according to plan, the tower could be completed within the next 10 years, becoming the centerpiece of a new district that will once again reshape Dubai's skyline. Dubai has always been a city that dreams big, and this skyscraper is its latest gamble on the future. But what do you think? Will Dubai succeed in building the world's second tallest tower? Or is it a risk that could backfire? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the Architales channel for more videos on the world's most exciting new skyscrapers and mega projects.